Hello, folks. This is Mrs. Welch from the Cavendish Fletcher Community Library with a salute to Western movies. Yeehaw! I have a couple different movies that I want to talk about. So a Western, of course, is a cowboy flick. And we have old ones and we have new ones. And I'm going to start off with one of the best classics, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, James Stewart, John Wayne. James Stewart is a lawyer who um, is a pacifist. John Wayne is not a lawyer, and he's not a pacifist. And in comes Liberty Valance, coming to Shinbone to make trouble. Um, black and white flick, classic, fabulous. I think it's one of John Wayne's better flicks, um, and James Stewart does well. It's told as a flashback, uh, so be aware of that. But worth your time, absolutely. Now, I have to say that this case is not the best representation, but I want to talk about a Western musical, and there have been a few. Um, but this one is called Harvey Girls. It stars Judy Garland as somebody who comes out West for an arranged marriage and ends up not working out, and she ends up being a Harvey girl, which was a waitress. Now, there's some really great songs in this, especially when she sings Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe while dancing in front of a train. But I think the weird thing about this movie is about two-thirds of the way through, they kind of seem to forget they're a Western, and the, and the music stops. Now here we have an action-adventure Western film. This is a remake of the original Magnificent Seven. It is very well shot, um, a little gorier than the original one, but there you go. Western comedy, A Million Ways to Die in the West. Um, so this is by the guy who did Ted. And all I can say is you can kind of tell it. It is similar humor. I'm not saying I didn't laugh my full head off on this because I did, but um, don't expect highbrow humor from this one. We have the modern Western, so Yellowstone. This is also pretty gory, um, and you can catch the first four seasons on repeat now. I, I can't remember what channel they're on. Um, Kevin Costner is a matriarch, is a matriarch, yeah. Kevin Costner is a patriarch. Yeah, we're not going to go there with that one, right? Kevin Costner is a family patriarch, and this reminds me of The Godfather, right? Does he make people an offer they can't refuse? Not quite in so many words, but you can kind of see where this stood on the shoulders of Godfather. A lot of similar characters. Um, Entertaining, watching, not always the most realistic, but um, sure made me want to wear a cowboy hat. And then we have Westworld. This is a TV series. It's based on the 1973 movie starring Yul Brynner. Um, imagine, if you will, a amusement park where you can go live out your Western fantasies and you can kill these android dudes. Then imagine they start to fight back. Dump, dump, dump. Four episodes, uh, I think four seasons of this are out, and we have them in the library. So lots to choose from if you like cowboys. This has been Cotter from the Cavendish Library. We'll see you soon.